it's in these moments that I often start to think I want to give up on everything and just go, you know, meditate in a, in a mountain somewhere, <laughs> let go of everything and just focus on my health. Welcome to this five minute flow state talk break. Today, I'm reflecting on my concussion symptoms that have flared up again after three years. My response to health scares like this are often the same, but today I've come across a parable that I want to share with you. A parable that has changed my perspective from one or the other to why not both? Longtime listeners of the show will remember that I suffered a concussion in 2020 from a snowboarding accident. It took me about a year to recover. Probably one of the most challenging and scary times of my life when it comes to my health. It was tough, but I've recovered from it pretty well. I still have moments where I have headaches, but it was the nausea and the dizziness and the feeling of just being exhausted all the time. That was the most, the, the scariest aspect of it. And those symptoms flared up again in the last two weeks. It's in these moments that I often start to think I want to give up on everything and just go, you know, meditate in a, in a mountain somewhere, <laughs> let go of everything and just focus on my health. You know, it makes sense when you feel like you're losing something to, to stop everything else so you can just hold on to this this thing that's so important because what is life without our without our health but i came across this parable that has made me shift and maybe even become more aware of my unhelpful thinking so let me read the parable first once upon a time in a dense forest there were two lumberjacks an older experienced man and a younger eager one they both set out to chop down as many trees as they could in a single day The younger lumberjack, full of energy and enthusiasm, began chopping trees at a furious pace. He worked tirelessly, taking no breaks, believing that the more he chopped, the more he would accomplish. The older lumberjack, on the other hand, seemed to work more slowly. He took regular breaks, pausing frequently throughout the day. The younger lumberjack noticed this and thought to himself, the old man is lazy. I'm going to chop down far more trees than he does by the end of the day. When the day ended, the younger lumberjack, exhausted and sweating, looked around and was shocked to see that the older lumberjack had chopped down significantly more trees than he had. He approached the older lumberjack and said, I don't understand. I didn't stop all day and yet you chopped down more trees than I did. How is that possible? The older lumberjack smiled and replied, Every time I sat down to rest, I wasn't just resting. I was sharpening my axe. I love this parable because rest is always viewed as this thing that doesn't support the action we're taking. Intellectually, yes, when you rest, you regain energy and that energy gives you the strength to take action. Intellectually, it's obvious, but when it comes to our habits and the way we just naturally behave or think still doesn't align with this idea. I'll I'll share this question. What would you rather have at the end of your life? Your health or creative accomplishments or even worse, a, a big house? I make this comparison to help remind myself just how important my health is. Because yeah, to that question, the answer is I would much rather have my health. But that question assumes that you can only have one. And I'm reminded through this parable that that's actually a very unhelpful assumption. And in fact, this parable points to the idea that we cannot have our success and our creative accomplishments without our health. And it's so obvious in this example, like if you don't have a sharp axe, you're not cutting down trees. When I wake up, the first thing I think about is, what do I need to accomplish today? with my work. I think about, I need to release this video. I need to curate this music. I need to, like, those are the things that are top of mind to me when I wake up. I think what should be top of mind is how am I sharpening my ax today so that when I strike, I'm most effective.
And that's it for this flow state talk break. What would you like to do next? Do you want to jump back into work with either a 30 or 60 minute session? Do you want to take a break with some ambient nature sounds? Or do you want to listen to another talk break? Choose the video that best suits your mood right now.